In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive as your backup. In my courses, almost everything that you do is on the computer, and computer storage is volatile. Things can happen to it, especially thumb drives that you put in your pocket, run through the wash, drop in a puddle, step on. Don't assume that one copy is enough to ensure that you have an adequate backup. And if you're like me, thumb drives are okay, but I do run them through the laundry way more often than I should. Sometimes they survive, sometimes not so much. So I can't tell you how many times I've lost information on a portable hard drive of some sort. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't use them. It means that you shouldn't use only them. Typically, I have things in at least two to three places. Now when I'm doing my video recording, I don't have to take that many places. It lives on my hard drive, then I export it to an external hard drive. As long as I've published the videos out to YouTube, I don't panic that much. Um, they're a little hard to pull back down and re-edit, so I do keep the originals. But when I'm programming, I'm more concerned. Now my general rule is that the more you care about something, the more copies you should have. I also believe in saving inversions. When I'm working on a really big project, I will usually save a new version of it every day. And I save it with the name of the project and the numerical date at the end. So today is January 18th, so I would be saving project name 118. And that lets me have multiple versions. I don't keep all of them, but I usually keep four or five until I'm done, because that way I like to experiment and sometimes I make things worse. And it's safe to experiment if you have a backup. In fact, if you know you're going to do something that may break whatever program you're working on, you back everything up, save it with a new name, and go ahead and try. Worst case scenario, you go back to your saved version, and that's the right way to work. Now, I don't accept the dog ate my hard drive. In fact, the funniest thing we've ever had is we had a student who's somebody else in the class was horsing around, threw a paperback book, it hit the edge of their portable hard drive, creased the case, and destroyed the hard drive. They lost everything on it. I don't, I don't accept that as an excuse for not having your work done. I do accept it as an excuse for being late. Luckily, the student whose hard drive it was had everything on his home computer. He's like, uh, my project was on there. I'm like, is that your only copy? He's like, no, I have it at home. So he was able to, between what we had saved of his projects from the past and what he had on his other computers, he was able to recover about 80% of it. So you want to make sure you're backing things up. That being said, I have found that my favorite way for backup is Google Drive because, well, one, it's free, and two, I have not figured out how to run it through the washing machine. Now, typically, I'm going to download the Google Drive for PC, and then I would install it. I've actually already installed this. Um, you can work with Google Drive live here, and so if I had something that I wanted to save, I could um, go directly into Google Drive, and I could simply upload, let's say, I'm working on my syllabus. I can simply upload it. There we go. It's out here. It's backed up. It's in the cloud. I can get it from school. I can get it from work. I can get it if I'm traveling, which is a beautiful thing. But the way I really like to work is when I'm saving something in Word, when I'm saving something in Word, you'll notice I have the Google Drive icon on my desktop. And so I will create my new document, say something really insightful, and when I save it, I usually save it directly to my computer. I also have a SkyDrive account. And so I'll save it in my documents. I save things as delete me when it's something I don't need later. And then I will do a file save as. And on the computer, my Google Drive is right there. And you can see I've got all of my audio from screencasts, various things that I'm working on. They're all saved up here. And the reason I like to save it this way is because that allows me to then go and get it when I'm at school. Now, when I'm at school, I don't have the drive downloaded. So I can go 
the, the one I just loaded is the one from a different account. I have multiple Google accounts, so I actually have mo multiple Google Drive accounts. Um, the one that I'm showing you here is the one that is associated with my Gmail account, MCC Mary, which is what I use for YouTube, which is why I'm working list. I'm not going to show you go pulling it out, or I would actually have to. Actually, I can do that. I can log out. Um, one of the cool things here. Ah, you can see who's using my computer. This is my personal account, so I can log into this one. I sometimes share my computer with my son, so if you see video games, they're his. And so you can see all of my stuff here, security, language, data tools. But what I really want to do is I want to go into Google Drive as this person. Google Drive. And let's swap accounts. Let's sign out because it's not letting me just switch. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I think it depends on which computer I'm on. Helps if you know the, the password. I have too many passwords. Okay, so you can see the delete me dot doc is right here. I can select it. It opens it up. And if I want it, I can simply download it by clicking the button here. Comes right back down. I've got it. I can open it. I can work on it. Now, if you're really just working in Word documents, I don't use Google Drive. Um, I do use Google Docs and Google Drive. There's another option that you have. And I have both. I use them for different things. So SkyDrive, I have various things. I've got pictures that I shared with my mother-in-law, because you can share these. I have various documents, various other things. I'm working on a new web development certificate, so I can pull it up and show people the sequence to get the certificate. So I've got that stuff saved. Typically, anything I'm doing in Microsoft Office, and that means anything I'm doing for work because we're standardized on Office, I typically do in SkyDrive. And it works pretty much the same way. You can get apps for it. You can view it from your iPhone, you can view it from your iPad, you can view it anywhere. So that's how I use Google Drive. I really like Google Drive better. Simple reason, 15 gigs of storage over 5. And if I need more storage, I can buy it, and someday I might. Now, I don't put my videos out on Google Drive because I don't usually need to access them outside of my home. So for things like that that I rarely need to re-access, I use an external hard drive. So hopefully that will show you a good way to back up your work and have it with you wherever you go.